Hi friends, today I have another haul for you. Um, we went to uh, a farm store, a feed store, um, natural health food store, and local grocery store. And um, today you're gonna hear the loggers are busy in the background, so hopefully you guys can hear me well enough, but let's get started. Um, we just went quick to uh, the feed store because of ordering feed, they weren't gonna have our feed mixed up in time so we just grabbed another bag of alfalfa um, pellets from uh, organic alfalfa pellets uh, from um, our local feed store carries some of the Peterson organic feeds and then they had a couple of these bags were opened I don't know by what <laughs> looks like an animal tried to get them or whatever but um, this is our dog food we get, Taste of the Wild, and they were charging, oh, I didn't say the price on the Peterson, um, alfalfa pellets was $21.65, and then um, the Taste of the Wild dog food, which is, a, uh, it's with venison and legumes, um, they're $35.25, which that the, like the original price is around $48 you know so that's quite a bit of savings on each bag even though there's like a little bit out of it it didn't seem like a whole lot out of the bag so you know well over a $10 savings to me is really good per bag 20 bucks right there then um, we went to our, our natural health food store and we just had to get um, we have bananas still but um, they're getting darker so um, I'll explain this at the end why we got these bananas, but we needed those. And then we got, um, I'm pretty sure when you buy them singly, it's um, 99 cents a pound still. And then um, we just got a couple pounds of local hamburger again, and that was uh, $6.29 a pound. And then we got some uh, yellow corn chips and some tortilla chips here. Um, these were... Of three thirty nine, it looks like, and then um, these are four dollars and nineteen cents, and then we got our case of the Stonyfield organic probiotic yogurt, and I always have to show this because somebody might be new to my videos, and they have six live active cultures in the probiotic yogurt, which I like because most. Um, most fer like your ferments aren't going to have that many probiotics and neither is like kombucha which is a ferment too but um like your vegetable ferments that i do um so anyhow uh i think this was about 24 dollars for the case of six of them um they give me a discount on those um because i order it and they don't have to shut put it on the shelves and then we just got a a fizzy kombucha trilogy is one of my favorite kinds of kombucha and I haven't had that forever so I just got one of those uh, nine dollars and sixty nine cents for that and that is um, 48 fluid ounces I didn't say ounces on some of this stuff this is 32 ounces the yogurt or um, two pounds the yellow corn chips were nine ounces and uh, the sea salt uh, tortilla chips were 11 ounces then we got some milk we're probably going to do some different recipes my daughter's been really having fun cooking and baking lately so um let's see what did we pay for that 3.79 plus um they charge um two something for the bottle so you you know clean it up after you're done with it and you just return it and you get that two bucks and 25 cents i think it was back when you bring that you know and then we got these uh so awesome apples golden delicious they're one of my favorites um haven't had those in a long time uh because i usually just go with whatever apples since we go through apples so fast um $4, uh, about $5 for three pounds each of these bags. And then we had gotten the pears last time. They were really good pears. I don't know if it shows the name on them. It says B-O-S-C. I'm sure that's short for some kind of pear, and I don't know. I'd have to look it up. But um, we got three bags of those, and those were um, $4 for about two and a quarter pounds. Um, and then... They actually are starting to get peppers back in stock. 
and my kids love to just eat these as a snack. Um, and these were $2.99 for eight ounces. I got a couple bags of those. Um, the tomatoes, let me see the price on those. I don't remember. Um, I think uh, there's a couple things on here that say open produce. So I'm not a, oh, there they are. Okay. Um, these must have been open produce, they called them. These are, this one's definitely an heirloom tomato. Look at how beautiful that is. And um, this looks more conventional. But um, $3.59 a pound for those. So those ended up being about three bucks. Um, we got, if, if you guys have never had this hummus, it's so good. Um, it's just, you know, original recipe, but their hummus tastes a lot different than other ones I've gotten. And we just got one of those to kind of snack on. Um, $4.29 for that. And let's see how many ounces. That's eight ounces. And let's look at ingredients. Um, it has a lot of yummy stuff. Sea salt, lemon juice, cumin, garlic powder, a little bit of cayenne. Oh, wow. Rosemary extract, which they even wrote um, is an antioxidant, which is cool. Anyhow, really good. We like their hummus. We don't get it very often because of expense. Um, and then, let's see here. We got, they were out of my favorite coffee, so we just ended up getting, this is uh, about a, um, usually get it by the pound. I think this is about a half a pound. It's usually um, $10 a pound, and this, so this was about $5 for that. And then they had a lot of clearance greens. We have some greens in our garden, but we tend to go through them quickly because we're a big family we're a family of seven and so these were a dollar 59 um for each bag of those i really like that they have like the purple um lettuce or whatever that is in there um could be different green I'm trying to think it looks like lettuce to me though but sometimes they have mixed greens it says spring mix it's probably just a lettuce mix it looks like and then we got a couple things of cream cheese for a recipe I'm going to be doing, um, or my daughter, I don't know. Um, and these were eight ounces a piece, and these were about four dollars a piece. And again, like I like to make beans and stuff, but um, I'm not very good at making refried beans yet. Um, like, yeah, it's something that I feel like you have to learn, and um, we'll see what we think of these. So, a lot of times, what they put in. They usually put some kind of fat, so I don't know. I was thinking I couldn't make these uh, really good tasting refried beans, but these don't have like a beef fat in them. A lot of times they put beef in them and it's really good, but this is the first time we've tried these. Um, uh, and they were about $3 a can for those. These are so cool. These um, beautiful, beautiful eggs. Um, there's a hair. <laughs> I was like, is it cracked? No. They're so beautiful. Oh no. I can't get it out. Like this one's so cool. It's speckled. We have some speckle layers too, like brown egg uh, layers. Um, and I love the green ones here too. This one's almost like an olive color too. But these are from a local place. That's why we opened them up, you know. They're really pretty too. And uh, these were three dollars and 99 cents per dozen and we're hoping to get eggs but i don't know our chickens are on strike or something um so hopefully once you know the hours keep the daylight hours are getting longer now so hopefully it won't be too long until we get some of our own eggs so we don't have to buy any for uh baking and such and then we are Pretty much out of garlic the garlic i ordered through as your standard months ago and i was going to order more from them and then they ended up being out again like i buy it by the box usually it's 30 30 pounds maybe or something like that so i just got some at our health food store and that was 10.39 a pound so it ended up being a little over ten dollars and then um we tried this last, uh, Theo's is not um, gluten-free. All Everything else that I bought was gluten-free, but these are processed on equipment that also processes wheat. And so these are kind of like 
we'll just probably have them in their vehicle for going out and about since one of our kids is really sensitive to wheat um and uh anyhow my daughter really liked this kind we tried one um the last times we were there i think it, it didn't get in the video because it got gobbled up too fast and she really liked this gingerbread spice one and so we got those um and that's two dollars and 79 cents a bar which is pretty good for organic um fair trade chocolate um at least in our area they're usually closer to um four dollars a bar and i think that's it for the natural health food store this week but um, we went to our local grocery store. I really needed salt and um, still haven't ordered any salt from anybody. Uh, Azure's out of salt so much that, yeah, I'm still waiting on that pink Himalayan salt. Um, so I just got the sea salt, $3.05 for 26 ounces. Um, and then we just got some more of the salsa that we like to get there. I got a mild salsa. Um, these are 16 ounces for $3.99 each of the salsas. There's hot. I think there's medium in here as well. We got a whole bunch of those. And then we got some more of the spaghetti sauce, um, the roasted garlic pasta sauce, 24 ounces. And um, those were $3.09 a jar. Um, I've even been using those. I canned a lot of tomato sauce last year no not last year it would have been the year before now because it's it's the new year um but um i i even use this in soup like i put a half a jar or a jar in soup and it gives it such rich awesome flavor i love making soup so that's uh and then i got just a couple boxes of ziplocs because you know sometimes you need them or want them on the for different uses on the homestead i try to avoid plastic but sometimes you need them for different things and then, um, let's see, we went to our local farm store. We continue to get our honey there. They just had two of the glass jar ones. Those are 46 ounces for $13.42. This is really great honey. Um, it's raw honey, so they don't really process it, um, you know, as hot, high a heat as they do some of the honeys. Um, and so it leaves a lot of the nutrients in it. Um, and then we just got one plastic one, $22. So we have a lot for a little while anyhow. And then we got one more kind of homesteady thing. Um, it's a uh, copper um, for our goats. We had had um, some copper when we got our goats from the previous owners of our goats, but it, we realized it was for um, too late. We kind of realized it too late that it was made for um, baby goats, and so I think they didn't get as much copper, so we had a little bit of not fun stuff with our goats. And so I ordered this actually online, and I don't remember the price. I'll put that down in the description, but um, it contains 25 of them in pill form. And so this is what, um, here, let me grab. So we just take a slice of the banana, leave the banana pill on, and then we um, open up the capsule and we just put the copper in the, did you put the pill in the, okay, I don't remember right. She said that we could do it the other way. <laughs> okay, so anyhow, I, it's too long ago. I'm too tired today. But um, she put the whole pill, I guess, in there. But you can take it. She saw. That's why I, I, I messed up. And I was going to say that we put. But you can put them, the little copper pieces, in the, the banana if you didn't have them in pill form like this. So, um, And so I think that is my haul for today. It was a really um, kind of a big haul. Uh, and uh, kind of wore me out. I'm tired and um, it was a beautiful day to be out and about though because I know there's some bad weather coming our way so I wanted to make sure we we got to the store and I don't like to drive on the crazy roads and it's kind of a gloomy day here but it looks so beautiful it was really beautiful on the way home um, seeing the <laughs> she's trying to get a chicken a chicken's trying to get in the dog food but it was just so beautiful. The mountains look blue today, kind of bl a bluish color. But um, I just, I think um, it's neat to see God's beauty when you're out and about doing your errand running. 
and I hope that you can see God's beauty in everything, um, especially in nature, and even, you know, at the grocery store when you run into people, just be kind to them. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Have a wonderful day. Bye.